Be the mass singer, bro. Would you guys do that shit? I watch it. Oh yeah, guys, you do karaoke and shit, right? Yeah, karaoke is my shit. I don't know how you do that, man. Like uh, I, I can't sing for. I'm anything. not great, but I'm okay. He's if you care, he's okay. <laughs> if you don't care, <laughs> Sean's face when I said that. He, he just looked up and went. <laughs> Immediately, he's like, come on, I'm out. Stop it, man. Stop oh, it. shit. He's writing it down. That's the title. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, baby. Oh, shit. I love that when we did Fiori, too. I, I was like, when I played you, I was still trying to get the title. But you even pointed out, that's not going to be we the called title. called you out on yeah. it. <laughs> no, that was a fun episode, man. You're so good at you doing do that. You do those every week. <laughs> no, bro. You know, I was thinking like every four months at least, right? Yeah, he gives us new ammo. Every yeah, exactly, dog. So you could like you could rack it up. Yeah, you know, it's like new material. Yeah, You're lucky I'm Asian, bro. I don't go back at you because I was thinking about that after I watched that episode. I was like, fuck, I, I did. I let you off the hook. Yeah, he was like, I could have gone dark places, man. Could went dark. <laughs> He's had a bad year so far. And it's only f- March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was bringing up my own bad shit, right? You're even like, damn, you fucking eight miles it. Yeah. Well, you still managed to get me in there. You got all of us. Cheddar Bob. You got everybody. <laughs> Cheddar Bob. <laughs> Cheddar Sean. Cough <coughs> <coughs> right. button. It was great. So, uh, when, when we're at Oyo, we're at our last day, and we're talking about like the episode, and I told him about that that whole part, and he goes, uh, he goes, damn, he goes, Edwin was actually right about the whole, like, you know, hurry up and cut my episode or my my special so I could I could upload these things Aww. and get followers and viewers and shit. And he goes, he goes and look, he goes, it actually worked, bro. He he got a million views, dog. <laughs> oh, you jumped out of character? <laughs> no, you're just oh. talking about oh. it. <laughs> yeah, oh yo, oh man, that's funny. So I'm speaking on your behalf, bro. I'm giving you a, a voice to the voiceless. Yeah, I, I thought you were talking about the part when we were playing. He was playing me, and then he jumped out of character, and you asked, "What do you think, Edwin?" And he was like, "Oh, that's part of the me, shit, like, bro. Oh, That was great, man. <laughs> or is our preamble over? I don't know. I was trying no, to milk it as long as we can. <laughs> I guess we'll just end it right there, then. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and we're doing. What the fuck? Happy Tuesday. It's been a while since I said that. Maybe I've been having some rough ones lately, but... Um, you think so? Yeah, not on the uh, professional side, just in life and stuff like of that. Of course, you know? man. Life is tough. Right? You think, oh, Mondays are terrible, but then sometimes Tuesdays can top Mondays. Yeah. Terrible Tuesdays. Yes. Terrible Tuesdays. And uh, um, speaking of terrible, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. let me just let me just say welcome to the ESJ podcast. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, you know the <laughs> YouTube, watching us, Spotify, listening. Um, I'm here with my buddies, uh, Sean Reddy, producer <laughs> of the could podcast. Be another episode where I just look away the whole time. <laughs> Same. And Mr. Mike Krasner, how you doing, people? We're back. Um, I didn't really want this to happen, but I, it's yeah, inevitable. Is, we have to. This episode is our worst case scenario. <laughs> Part three, ladies and gentlemen. I hate saying it. I actually didn't want to <laughs> want to do it, but it's we have to at this point. When when all else fails in war, sometimes you got to hit the nuke button, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, you've tried a peace treaty, like, you've tried doing everything. Like Hiroshima and shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you got to put an end to it. Yes. Uh, and there's going to be some right. collateral damage, but, you know. There's a certain responsibility that we have that we have to um, uphold and keep a, a standard. And uh, things were like below standard, and it makes uh, the brand look bad, you know. Um, I didn't want to do this because... I don't know if it's the um, the Asian in me, but I was just gonna let it ride and disappear into the sunset. But this motherfucker oh, consistently the keeps a- the Asian in me so sweet. 
This is the Americanized side now. Oh, okay. You just, <laughs> this is the Panda Express part of him coming out. Well, like you said, we have treaties. We try to do this. <laughs> the Panda Express. This is the orange chicken. <laughs> what else can you do, bro? The guy the stays compound, fucking up. Compound chicken. <laughs> He doesn't deserve three episodes, is what I'm saying. Part threes, but it's just so bad, bro. He like he posted another video when we told him not to post a video. Like, w- when do you not like? And Sean caught it like three minutes into him posting. Like, and Sean's like, "Did you see this?" And I was like, "What?" And it was just by chance, right? It wasn't like you were like w- watching this dude, but it just fucking shows up in your algorithm. Yeah, it was God sent. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's the term I would use. So <laughs> I text him and I go, what What are you posting still? And then he lies on top of it again, more like, oh, I thought it was, um, he was trying to post it unlisted, right, Sean? Or he was trying to post it like, oh, I don't know what you guys are talking private. about. Private. Wayne posted another video from the V Theater. <laughs> no, you're the, no, you don't no, know what you're talking about. You called no, me. I, mean, I don't know what he told you because I don't know what he said. He still was trying to upload it privately but then it went publicly yeah, but first. then you were like and even Krasner was like well why is he titling it and why does it have like why is he captioning it if yeah. it's just gonna be unlisted like like come on man you know and then it's like it's almost like he must have been freaking out bro because he posted it three minutes and we caught on it right away like well that was the, that was his excuse was that he, he was trying to upload it privately for him, his own self but then it goes public first and then he switches it or something like that i don't mean but it is what it is bro but like the thing is he said what did he say he uploaded it to youtube because he was gonna make it private so he can watch it and learn from it yeah right yeah. like if i film something on my phone it's like save storage type I, of thing. I can just watch the video that i filmed i don't have to upload it to youtube caption it hashtag it like i don't have to do it i just i just go to my gallery where i where i where it's there and i go oh i'm I'm gonna watch this now and then it stays off the internet so like it's kind of like sending like like sending a dick pic to your mom like there's so many things that have to happen for you to do that like there's no excuse for your mom seeing your dick pic you know like it's like a lot of steps he took so much lying on top of you just admit it you know it's like oh i didn't do it but then we have video of you doing it you know oh that's not me (laughs) shaggy he said it wasn't me me. but we caught you in the shower (laughs) uploading on youtube it wasn't me (laughs) you even had no shirt on bombing at the vato (laughs) it wasn't me me. (laughs) well you know what it's not gonna be you anymore and now you got to go (laughs) Finito. It wasn't me. Write it down. <laughs> title. I got three. This episode has three titles so far. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm I'm at fault, of course, right? Because in hindsight, looking at it, it looks bad for the club, the branding of someone posting it, and then we're like putting it on the podcast of him. Like that's something we're gonna go into later. All right. We're gonna, he's actually. Change the format of how we're going to do things. You change the format of comedy. Bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, so that makes him a legend. Do you oh know when, God. like, someone, like, something bad happens and they make, like, a, like the Amber Alert? Some yeah, girl got yeah. Amber, got kidnapped, and now they have, like, their... He's, like... Like, he's, there's, like, a Wayne rule in comedy now. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> the Wayne rule? Like, this is sort of, like... <laughs> he's, he, he's, like, the William, William Hung of comedy. Wayne. You know that guy? What's that guy who was on... Um, American Idol. Yeah, American yeah. Idol. Oh my yeah. God! Right? Like, but he, that dude made a career, though, bro. He made a career. He dropped albums, dog. Yeah. William Hung dropped albums. Yeah. He has William a Hung Christmas was, album. William dude. Hung was good. Yeah. When's like William Hung himself? Uh, himself. <laughs> 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 I think that's the title. Four titles, right? <laughs> because you know, the the proverbial straw that breaks the camel's back that happened already. So now he's just kicking the camel when it's dead on the ground like like submitting oh, it man. he submitted his tape his his tape to why has to be a camel though 
<laughs> that's the saying right isn't it the straw that breaks the camel's back yeah, like, yeah. It's, just, it's just offensive to our yeah and to I'm, Sean and I'm our wearing some of this Qatar yeah cool. <laughs> and our one listener in Saudi Arabia who's got a poop that we just fucking lost we didn't we actually shouted him out because he's like yeah I've seen many camels be broken by straw Either I kicked them well, why am I, I doing it you're, that's, that's your thing I'm not getting sucked into your game here it's he's like, that's terrible and then he's doing it Jesus <laughs> No, it's Allah. You made me huff the paint can too. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so I find out. I find out because he submitted to a club that. Yeah, people don't do this, man. <laughs> that the club was like surprised, and they messaged me back and are you really submitting this guy? And I was like recommending him, and I was like, no, I didn't recommend him. So he submitted to club without even getting my permission to do it. Yo. And he's sending in that same that that tape. Maybe that's why he was downloading it on YouTube so he can get the the uh, link and send it to people. Well, it's funny that we. So said, he's submitting now. Like, yeah, so so it's like it's funny that you called him. That you we said we hung himself because he keeps shooting. His, you didn't weren't you? Like he's like hangman. Oh yeah. Or he, like he just keeps shooting himself in the foot. Oh, I forgot about that. So like he yeah he, like, starts at the whole body and it's like oh fuck him because what did he do video wise like. Well, first he records it, right? And then he posts it and he says he lied that he thought it was a picture, right? So that's one, all right? And then he posts it again and then said he didn't realize he thought it was doing it to private, right? <laughs> then he submits that thing that we, without getting permission. <laughs> and then um, he's just left, he's just left with his body right now. Dangling head. With no shirt. <laughs> I mean, his future is uncertain right now. <laughs> uncertain. I mean, how many? It's, it's well, like, it wasn't even about like permission. It was more about like he was using you as a reference without even asking you about that. You know? But yeah, permission, right? Yeah. So like, and because if he would have asked me, I would have said for because he could no, he could have submitted. He could have submitted without even seeing your name, but he still used your name though. You know what I'm saying? But, but like, a video from your stage. Yeah, so what, what seemed like an empty audience. And guys, don't submit clips that it's like only you introing the next comic. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> a one minute submission of no no material. It was a minute uh, long. I'm a great host. Oh man. I'm well, going to send a minute video and 10 seconds of it is me walking to the microphone. Yeah. So that means 50 seconds of comedy. And then the last 10 is going, you guys ready for a great show? So I really just sent you a 30 second clip. So can I feature? Bro, <laughs> can fire. I get a room? No, it was the most fire 30 seconds. Dude, I'd rather be on fire for 30 no. seconds and fully engulfed. No, hell no. I'm not going to say who he is submitted to, but I'm going to tell you, it's he's so dumb. It's the sister club to... Mine, you know what I mean? Or the the newest sister club. Right. Like the baby of the of the siblings. Oh yo, don't know about that shit. Don't do that, bro. That's so terrible. And then this is the final thing where he's just left with his head now. Oh man. He introduces me. <laughs> no. This is possibly potentially it is actually we gave him this is his, that was his last performance there at the V Theater. Oh which fuck. he doesn't know about. That is his last performance there, but so you're fine. <laughs> baseball players oh making an error, the ball goes to your leg. He Bill Buckner, <laughs> he Bill Buckner, it, bro. Like, he gave no defense to him to why we should have him back or whatever. But he fucks up my intro. I mean, before he brings me up, he drops the mic and then he fucking brain farts it and doesn't even remember who. I guess who he's supposed to bring up or something. But it was just um. It couldn't have ended a more perfect way for him to be like, bro, you just shot yourself in the foot. You shot yourself. You cut your arm off. You're just, you're hanging, and you're hang, barely hanging in there. Like you're, you're done. My personal advice, I think he should quit comedy. Oh, Jesus. I mean, but he's definitely not going to do it at the V Theater anymore. We can't no, do that. No, I, but, I mean, <laughs> we, he, he could, he could. Just, just let him know. Okay. He could. Come back maybe in a year. <laughs> After he quits comedy, he's gonna come back. If he doesn't quit what comedy, is he Tom Brady. My prediction. <laughs> I, I predict you, he's legend, gonna quit, dog. bro. He's gonna Did quit. Did I say that earlier? Legend, R dude. Twelve. He's gonna unless it's that over his head. But how? Patrick Milton told every all the open micers to spit <laughs> on him when he sees them. Drop it. 
I mean, that's fucking, that's fucking hard, bro. Like, so that's like not even just ripping them, but that's, that's going now when he tries to go out and do a spot, if he ever does, because he complains about how it's fucked up. You just told him to quit. Yeah, but people are going to spit on him, bro. Like, (laughs) stop saying that. You're going to give people ideas. (laughs) To spit on him? We don't want. Like a hawk like, like The a, more you say, like, <laughs> that's not what we want. That's not what we want to like happen. I don't know. Right, Ace Ventura Nature Calls. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I think they like it. Finally, a movie reference that we all got. <laughs> yeah, no, in no way, shape, or form are we condoning the act of spitting on any human being. So. Okay, I'm not condoning either, but oh, Patrick man. put it out there. Oh god! <laughs> so it's like, bro, like, it's it's not good for him. It, 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 he actually should start a moving business because he's really good mover. And Sean told me he had experience with that. I didn't realize that, but he, oh, that was when he helped us move, bro. Yeah. So I packed the first load. Right, you remember we talked about that, right. and then he was like helping unloading. And then when we got back to go do the second load. I was like loading up and then he goes, yeah, you know, I used to help move. I used to be a professional. We like, we used to like move people's furniture, like state to state. And I go, what the fuck am I doing up here then, bro? Get your ass inside. And I was like, you. She was like, I'm the producer of this move. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, and then he textures the shit out of that thing, man. It was beautiful. Yeah. Bro. I was, was like, pretty, I couldn't I was, do that. I was pretty impressed. That's the only thing he's ever impressed me on. It was, <laughs> it was his moving abilities, bro. <laughs> And I think that's probably why I asked him to move. I think he might have said something in, in that, that I think, oh, he's a pre- past mover. And I was like, yeah, oh, oh it just stuck, yeah. stuck in the back of your head. Because he was on it, bro. It's and then Sean his, was there. Maybe it was in his comedy bio. Krasner shows up late. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he came like we were almost done already. He's like, oh, you guys. Is this an attack on Krasner episode? <laughs> is this Krasner part one or Wayne part three? No. What are you doing here? But I don't know. Patrick's got such an impact on me now. I'm, now I'm never going to have my friends help me move anymore now. Thank God. I've done it like seven times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for freeing me. Spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so great. I know I'll keep fucking <laughs> but he's so fucking badass. Yeah, you want bro. us to leave the room right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> A little confession on the camera. Oh, man. But all that stuff when he was reviewing it, I was like, it was all stuff we already talked about. We were gonna do like he's done already, bro. And then um, um, Hilder had mentioned that there's a couple other uh, comedians out there. They're feeling like it's not fair for us to put up comics that are like, yeah, not worthy of that stage. And just to make sure those guys weren't getting paid at all. You guys are getting paid. I pay my openers. <laughs> Yeah, Those like guys. No, I'm just picturing this scene from Wayne's where they're like, "We're not worthy," but with Wayne's <laughs> head on it. And shit. <laughs> it's the stage time, it's the opportunity, and it's the, the, build, the chance to get critiqued by us, right? So that's mainly why we were doing that. It's yeah. like when football teams like, like do like walk on <laughs> auditions every once in a while. Yeah, it's rare, but they do sometimes do that, man. So. We have to change the format of the show, yeah, yeah, for the sake of the integrity of Planet Hollywood, the V Theater, and what we represent, and comedy itself, and comedy itself, yeah. it's, and and for the, the res- fairness for of the- comedians that are out there really working and, for and the- taking this as serious shit, and this is definitely and for their the profession. fans of comedy that's coming now to make a night of it, you know, something we're supposed to be entertaining. So effective immediately, the V Theater is closed until <laughs> further notice. <laughs> It, we Two new acts. our doors <laughs> to uh, comedians that um, want to perform on the stage. We're, to, we're limiting it exclusively to comedians with talent that are comedians. Like, but we still want to open our doors and we want to help comedians out. So we're we're, we're willing to take um, comedians on the show and review their sets that they bring in from another club. It could be their we're not even asking for their worst sets. We're actually, you know, their best sets because it's or like something they would send to a booker, a submission, yeah. right? So now let's say like Wayne submitted, and that's how the whole topic came to. This. When you submit something, there's a period of a couple of weeks, sometimes even months. You never hear back. You don't get any kind of feedback. Sometimes never at all. You know. Right. So with this, what we're doing is automatic feedback, bro. It's like you're submitting a tape, and we're gonna watch it in front of you, and then we're gonna t- we're gonna critique it for you. And if it's worthy enough, 
and we think you're good enough, then we can get an opportunity to do a guest spot on the V Theater at, at Planet Hollywood. Interesting. But if it's not, actually, Krasner, you're the one who came up with this idea. If it's not, come revisit us again, work on your craft, come back another six months, and we'll review it again. But Yeah, I think that, that would be better because that way it's... You know, it's them submitting. It's not just taking blind chances. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, yeah, so I think that would be. So what do you? So you're submitting for an opportunity to perform so who's, on the strip so who, so who at gets, Hollywood. So who gets to submit? Anybody? Yeah. Well, what's, shot? what's the email that they would send it to? Yeah, that's on you, dog. Oh yeah. man, you were busting it. It's the ESJ, ESJ podcast. ESJ podcast at gmail dot yeah. yeah. So ESJ podcast. <laughs> Submit at Gmail. We only want five com. minutes. Three minutes is the most. We'll probably we'll only watch three minutes of it. So, if you're gonna give you some advice, you know, it, don't save your bad, your good shit till the end because we probably won't get to it. Put your best shit up front. I mean, put your best foot forward. Yeah, these are all tips that we can give to you when you submit. A lot of people put up like he put up one minute of just him bringing up MCs, you know, and then don't do any crowd work either. I mean, we want to see content material. Right, am I? Am I right? That's what this? bookers be looking at, bro. Yeah. That's like that's real. That's the that's the thing. Like it's still a you still get an educational experience. The instant out of feedback it. part is cool because yeah, the waiting and the because you you don't sending get a follow up email like hey just happy holidays yeah. just, just yeah. check it in, in. <laughs> <laughs> want to make sure everything's good blah 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 even wild, though you ignore the fuck out of me every time I email you still will act like I like you uh, you gotta just, change it's just the look of the look of the draw bro you just gotta be one of the yeah. thousands of comics reaching out to the same book yeah so that. having them on here and getting like an instant yes or no is cool and even if it's like a no like Beg oh that was good but like you know just work on this this and that you can come back in like a few weeks or submit another tape like uh, 100% keeps the bro. door open yeah, and I'm ready to rip into some of these guys because I want to see like oh, really. Yeah, that should, that's, that that should get them. Fucking I mean, inspired. To think about to it, submit. bro. If you're serious about comedy, this is what you're gonna submit and send in. No wonder why you're not getting any fucking work. You did this to him, Patrick. No, he didn't. I just had no, it in me. It's you my, did this to him, dog. Because no. <laughs> you're the one that introduced him yeah, to that's it. True. So. I, I only have a doing? small portion of this. You just wanted to see him. I let him come sniff. I show, let him bro. sniff coke one time. Now he goes out and buys it every time. That's not on me. Oh that's a hundred percent your fault, bro. No, you could just not gave it. If to I you, gave correct. him one cookie and then he eats the entire bag once yeah. I leave, someone. Has a, why? Why even plant that temptation, bro? You know. I just wanted a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, you did this. But why cocaine, bro? That is so fucking. Oh, uh, don't be held along with the Because it's an addicting drug, and I need an analogy. No one but really like thinks... potheads. Like, yeah, but it's not like if his Diaz Mackey was on the show or something like that. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck is happening? I'm just saying, like, cocaine. That's not me. I don't want people thinking that I have a cocaine. Problem. I just said nobody thinks you have a cocaine problem. I did it for an analogy because it's an addictive drug. I know, but you took an analogy like... and decided to just start roasting comics. So, like, who we who we met at here? It's not a fucking secret that Diaz Mackey does cocaine. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's that's not a secret that a lot of comedians do cocaine. Yeah, like who? <laughs> like probably all of them. I, I mean, I know people who do cocaine. Like, <laughs> you don't have to I'm not gonna start shouting their names out. Like, who cares? <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm, maybe I shouldn't have did that too. But it's not. I don't have. I don't judge anybody. I don't know no one that does that type I, of... I don't even know what cocaine is, bro. No, I've, not, I've never done cocaine, regardless, of, <laughs> despite of my nose. If I've you did, done. if you didn't, I'm not going to judge you anyways different. I know, I, yeah, what but I just want to... I'm letting the world know. All right, I, mean, I want them to know, too. I, I don't do that stuff. Come, you're like, if you do, keep them one line of cocaine. I get back on track. You still haven't got... Please comment below if you understood my analogy, or if Edward is just regressing. <laughs> We want serious inquiries only. <laughs> Don't bullshit. If you're a part-time comedian, get the fuck out of our profession. Oh, my God. We're here to thin out the herd. You understand what I'm saying? We want to make people that are serious, and we can help them out to progress their career. Ear. Of course I understand. <laughs> you know, there's too many people. Like, I was telling somebody, it takes a little bit of craziness to do what we do. You have to be a little bit mental to 
to get up there oh, on stage and make people laugh. Yeah, we talked right? about that, bro. But you can't have too much crazy. Some of these people are just too much crazy. <laughs> like, you like have, who? Like <laughs> Summer. <laughs> oh, I, I was kidding, Walden. Oh. <laughs> But they're just, they're not mentally right, bro. There's something is wrong with them. Uh, Chris, I tell you, this is all your fault, bro. <laughs> and you keep planting it, bro. You just keep throwing more softball pitches, too. It's like, and then he doesn't even realize it's so fucking gullible. He's we're just, here to help. That's what we're here to do. Oh, and we got to keep that focus. But in the process of helping, part of it is like laying down the law. Jesus went into the temple at the marketplace and tore that all that shit apart because he was pissed off. Like, don't do this here. Like, Jesus gets mad sometimes, too. Like, I'm just saying, you can't always be peaceful. Like, all these open micros, like, everyone killed or it's all good. Like, no, like, someone has to be there to tell them they fucking suck. Right? Have you been scouting open mics? No. Oh man. But we have we have people that are scouting for us. <laughs> so <laughs> his farm he's got the farm team, he's got his scouts and shit. Yep. Sending people hey, to different shows. His handicap biz coming to real life, bro. It's my gang, bro. It's all the fucking cripples. Oh. <laughs> stop it, stop it. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Those are like so. What? Now they're gonna get bombarded, and we won't. Like then oh, they'll have them submit. No, they're gonna get hated on them. Oh man, because they're gonna. Oh. You know why your boy's so successful? Because he doesn't reveal his sources. Uh, <laughs> you, you can't. Right you just, can't commit no boy, crime around oh, Patrick Elton. Yeah, why are you just tell everyone your fucking ATM pin code on the pod while you're at? Jesus it? Christ. Well, this man is unhinged right now. <laughs> we're just gonna ble bleat those guys' names out, bro, because that would be easy to do, right? I didn't say his name again; I just said it once, like. No, but you mentioned, and you never mind, because it's just more easy you have to bleep out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why I mentioned Summer is because we're not gonna go after her. I don't think she's like it. It, it would just be like bullying at this point. What like, if she submitted though and wanted to come on? But I don't think she's a serious inquiry. I mean, do you think she's like serious? I, mean, I, still, well, I still think if they submit, we still got to watch well, it. Based off what you're saying, we're an equal opportunity employer. Yeah. Right? And, if, and it, I think in, in order to really help people, if you want to go the helping route, like we have to watch everyone said. They're submitting to get feedback. Uh, so we, got, we shouldn't do this then because I don't want to watch everybody's <laughs> set. Yeah, everyone's that's set. That's why you guys will have to do that. And then mm -hmm. the ones we pick. Nah, then, we're doing this as a team. Oh, dog. man. That's part of the team. No. Yeah, delegation. Fuck that, bro. We're all going to suffer. Well, but you, Krasner gets a kick out of that, no, though. That's, you, say we're the, watch, you said we're, they're submitting it, but they're watching it on the pod with us? Oh, yeah. So we have to so watch it. So you have yeah. to watch it. Yeah, so yeah. So trying to get it. out of this, you bitch. Yeah. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> they're trying to put the blame on me and Sean. Let's you say... You're here let's outing say everybody's get... goddamn fucking dirty laundry, and then you're like, oh, you and Sean can watch this. I'm out of here. Bro. I'll watch it on the show, bro, but like, there's no way. What if we get no, some... No, we're watching it I'm not watching it twice. Bro, I, you know, if we, we have to watch it, how are we going to pick it? If we all commit a crime, dog, this fool's going to snitch on us, dog, and it's going to be free. What do you mean pick it? Somebody... Some comic submits that they want to do it, and then they come on the pod and we watch the video. We don't have to vet, watch the video first. We're watching it organically. That yeah. Way, we don't have any preconceived notes or notions and shit. Like, unless they're like out of towners, you know what I'm saying? Then there'll be an exception. You know, we could probably watch it and then we'll just critique it and then put it up. The scheduling, know? they wouldn't be able to. And it's right. not going to be every episode we're going to do this, right? It's just like every, every no. once in a while we'll, we'll we'll come in and we'll review. Yeah, maybe make on a once a month thing or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, well, who cares? Or, just, don't worry about it. We'll just submit. Just I mean, submit. I don't really want to take out of towners too much either. I just want to focus on the the. <laughs> Okay. The Vegasy. That's fine. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, there's a there's a plethora of comedians out here that suck. That we can get them to stop doing it. <laughs> That's my goal: is to improve comedians that have potential, and then get the other ones that have no business being in our business out. Okay, hold on. Let's clarify. Move to another so town. No, 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 move to another right town. Let's, let's clarify real quick. Though. Please. This is, so last That's time, the service we're doing. Last time when we were talking, bro, this is not how it went. So <laughs> It's never how it went. <laughs> Basically, we're saying like, don't waste like stage times and people's times, bro. Like if you're not like ready to be in the clubs and entertaining, like what I always say, the worldwide audience, bro, like... Don't waste the manager's time, the booker's time, the club's time by submitting, you know what I'm saying? Because they could be trying to like look at and check out comics that are ready, you know what I'm saying? We're not saying that like, you know, like 
quit coming but like you know go to the open mics and go to the smaller shows and just keep building that network first you know what i'm saying and then grow there then once you become like one of those top comics in that area in that circuit then then start like figuring out how to get into the clubs and shit you know what i'm saying but it's but if they don't do any of that and they want to just submit is that totally cool too yeah i mean i don't care what do you submit <laughs> but to i us? do i'm just saying that's the whole reason behind well, what it what if you watch one minute of it and realize it's bad what do we do for the rest of that no episode? it has to be like a minute we're only gonna watch like three minutes of it man what do you do for the rest of the episode everything you're doing right now <laughs> but just, it'll be okay just all right but, but you guys are saying don't do that and i'm like no we have to be no, who honest said don't do that you're like well this is our mission here our mission is at several you know levels going, like, we just want to help people and we do like fucking quick comedy <laughs> So like yeah, you're, you're having like an inner struggle with no, yourself. No, right no, no. You guys are misunderstanding me. There's, <laughs> are we? there's levels to this. You know, there's a top is the levels when you're no, good. We're, we're talking about levels, yeah. And you just say we watch their set and it's really good enough and we all love it, then you're you're real welcome to come on the V Theater. Yeah. Yeah, right? yeah that's totally the fine. Second level is if if oh no, it needs work, so come back six months later. Okay. And then you know, we'll come back and review yeah. again. Right. And the bottom level is the fucking you have no business in stand up comedy fucking quit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But so they, they there's three levels to yeah. it. There's not like But we're gonna we anybody, don't watch. Who, anybody who's willing to come on the pod and do this should be accepted, right? Because they're either gonna get yeah. Good feedback or bad, bad feedback, feedback, but they know that though. Like it's gonna. So we're e- are we equal opportunities? Like yeah, we, anyone can apply. Or are we just picking and In choosing? Vegas, cause I know how you feel about out of towners. <laughs> You've made that abundantly clear yeah. this episode. I'm all scared. So I, I, I'm not opposed to anybody, but I'm not gonna watch all these submissions. I mean, but they're gonna be on the pod. So you're just not gonna come to the pod that day? No, someone has to. <laughs> Someone has to review him, bro. What if it's garb? Oh no, I guess I guess we could just. Well, then it's for the pod. But then we'll be done in in like five minutes. There won't be an episode. Oh no, we'll stream. We have to. We have to back next. Three minutes of them watching the episode, and then you have the other whatever of you of 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 us giving them feedback, you (laughs) uh, and stuff like that. Right. Okay. What do you think you're thinking right now? No, you guys were just telling me I was wrong. Like, well, that's not what we talked about. When did we say you were wrong? Because he was like, he, he this said, "I was gonna be real, but X is everywhere." He said I, it was what we talked about last night, but it's exactly what we're talking about last night. Still, it just probably didn't come out the way you wanted it. But no, oh, no, it's it's cool. I, th- I think we're I think we're all clear. I think right? Are we clear? Are we? No, let's clarify some more. <laughs> Well, I mean, it was all brought about because of the circumstances of what had happened, you know, and then what we did, bringing on a comedian that wasn't ready for it, kind of got some comedians that upset because like they're getting opportunities that they used to have. So we're remedying all this stuff and we're not putting garbage up at the V theater Mm -hmm. and then we're going to review people's tapes. I guess I'm just being lazy and I don't want to watch every single fucking tape out of there because you got to admit I'm. I'm coming a long way from being eight years and not seeing anybody and being comfortable and how I like it to opening up my doors. That's no excuse, so, bro. So okay. you guys got to do some work in like, okay, you know, but you I keep, don't want to fucking watch all these You keep saying guys. that we're going to have to watch the videos. Are you not understanding the concept of what's <laughs> happening? Some Let's say Sean isn't on this pod. He's a he's a comic. You know why we're not understanding? Okay, go ahead. Okay, I, okay, I don't want to okay, cut you okay. off. Sean comes on the... Sean submits hear and all goes... Right. He sends the ESJ podcast at gmail.com <laughs> okay and he goes i want to be on the pod right. right and we and i want you guys to submit my tape for future considerations okay we bring the said person on the pod we watch their video and then we critique it and then we give them their immediate feedback like you said right. we don't wait weeks and all this they get immediate feedback from this yeah so by doing that you have to watch every episode because it's on the pod yeah. So it's not like we're getting submissions and we're just reviewing them and then saying who can come on the pod. If you're willing to come on the pod and have this done to you, yeah. we'll accept you. But the trade off is y- you kind of have to be here. Yeah, you have to be on so the pod. So like, it can't just be me and Sean. We're not watching the videos and I'm going, all right, Edward. Because we're, we're only looking blah, 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 at people blah, blah. that want to be on the pod. I understand that 100% what you guys are both saying exactly. But you guys are failing to 
understand what I'm saying is because you're not at the level where I'm at. <laughs> and you guys are at this lower level. Like, how many messages and emails do you get? Like, do you have, when you have a video that hits over a million views, <laughs> you get thousands and thousands of people commenting and stuff that is impossible to get back at them. So, what if our level at this, we're getting thousands of thousands of people submitting? I'm not going to sit there and watch through all of those guys. But you guys don't even think about that because you never had that vir- You're not at the you level know, where I'm at. Do you know why we don't think of that? Because that was the most ridiculous fucking thing I've ever heard of in my life. I'm positive thinking that we're going to be swamped with this bro so how did this things. go from helping other people that you wanted to tell everyone that you went viral on a video <laughs> the way you fucking squeeze and jam shit in thank you bro what I'm just like, sorry like, you guys got, are not that level Me, well, you would just understand the, okay but we understand we're talking about the content of the video and I understand you that you just wanted to take Sean's the one case you get one example imagine trying to do a thousand of those are you going to sit there and go th- like there's not even a thousand comics on the fucking scene. Not everybody. We're going to get like 12, bro. If we're we lucky. We'll be lucky if we get two, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you're you're trashing everybody on right now who's about to fucking submit. Thank so you, you're bro. you're killing our fucking market. Thank you, dog. <laughs> And then you say, we don't understand, because you just wanted everybody to know that <laughs> you've been doing comedy longer, and you finally got a video that went viral. That's all I was trying to soften. Finally? That's what all I was trying mean? to soften the blow. That's all I was saying. Like, don't quit comedy. Just focus on the open mic. But like, you was going for the juggler. Everybody. You're like, I've been doing this on different levels. Like, bro, when you started, YouTube wasn't even a thing. You couldn't even go viral. <laughs> Shit, YouTube was a thing. That's why I did go viral on YouTube, but it wasn't my <laughs> clip. I didn't post it. Someone else posted it. Got like six million oh, views. Like shit, we lost track of this episode. So, um, <laughs> no, we didn't. We're right on par. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, exactly, we're right on par. This is exactly the storybook ending. We're we fired, fired Wayne. <laughs> we're explaining our new procedure. We established how amazing you were, which was definitely well, I mean, the outline of the episode. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm just saying. And then we're gonna do a teaser. Who we're gonna have? Because yeah, we're gonna continually have. New guests coming on. If this, this is a new procedure, but we're not going to stick to just this only. We're still going to keep the dynamic of yeah, we're gonna who we are. We're going to have other guests and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People. So good, man. <laughs> Oh, this is the most confusing this zigzag. Is, you know, I feel right like on par. You know, I feel like, like he's confusing us, but then bro. blaming us for the confusion. You guys are right, but you don't understand. Duh, you know what this reminds me of? Like, you know those goosebumps books where you could like direct like what chapter you want to go to. Pick your own ending. Yes, because we 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 went everywhere. For a minute, we all made no, sense, no. and the minute we, we didn't, didn't. Go, we didn't go <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking he, go. this guy's veering off. Like oh a drunk man. Driver. I'm down 100 percent what you guys are saying. It's just the you know. You talking about Hangman? He is the one that's. Maybe we need to hire an intern, <laughs> and we might have to have some of those guys He's the review them for bro. us and pick ones. There's no reviewing. No, we're not. We don't have to do it. Have like those guys that I mentioned that we bleep their names out. Yeah, I know. You, okay, you're just circling back the way. You, there's no reviewing any tape. We review it. On the on pod, the pod. In you front guys don't of think them. positive, man. What if we have fucking thousand fucking <laughs> things to like? Okay, then we have a thousand that's episodes. A quality problem. Then. That's, that's great. A, no, that's a thousand. So episodes, what? What problem? It? Oh man! All right. Yeah. And people are commenting on your video because it's like a comedy, but they're not submitting. Like, you post a video about you doing stand-up, they're not commenting like, yo, let me get on your pod. So you're talking about like different examples. No, I'm, you're. So specific with that. I'm just saying. Are you brought all my specific? No, because they're not commenting that they want to be on the pod. But yeah, there's, I know, but there's you, a high you're, traffic. You're there's coming, like thousands and thousands of comments. Yeah, but you're based, you think a million like a people lot. are going to watch this fucking episode? I mean, I'm just trying to think positive. We're going to get eight submissions if we're lucky, four if people Doug, don't realize I'm how mean you, you are. Two if we're lucky, bro. <laughs> two. And both of them are going to just be wall deck. <laughs> <laughs> guys don't believe in yourselves. <laughs> That's How why. does that even apply? You might not ever get to my level <laughs> because you don't believe in yourself, dude. dude if, if getting you, to your it, level comes with that sort of level of craziness, I'm good where I can am. Can you explain your level though? <laughs> like, I want to just want to know where you're elevated. In. Thousands of comments. You guys don't even expect to have thousands of like, you know what I mean? Like, just getting bombarded. Where it's are you talking about your your current situation? With thousands of comments, or are you talking about like future? I'm talking about like the future of our podcast. Okay, like how I see things, and I'm like, we're gonna be like, you know. So you're really just thinking like way in the future, then? Yeah, because like let's let's say we get to that level, I'm ready. Golden ticket. So you're already establishing I, your yeah. mentality from like a year level, or two from now. I'm not now. Re- reviewing. All okay, these that makes and, sense now. All right, I'm just I'm the talent. But, but currently though, right That's now, the, right now though, 
we will be watching all the submissions because we're not bombarded though yeah. Right, right, of course. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure you understood that part. I think that's why he's the producer. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? Because he just clarified all that. I was just making like, sure. He said everything I knew 40 minutes ago. <laughs> you good. needed the clarification, bro. <laughs> You're deflecting again. You, you know how you tell him I speed up when I tell my new bits, man? You were just speeding right. You were just rampaging through this middle segment. Well, your rampage stretched it for 25 minutes, though. Oh, damn. <laughs> I can't wait till this episode comes out and you're going to be like, what the fuck was i saying you're gonna confuse yourself even more no i think he's gonna double down he's gonna text us like no nah, he's like you guys are in the wrong <laughs> god damn uh, this is great okay i'm glad, we, right. I'm glad things were clarified yeah we're no we're good I'm now glad we're everybody good. knows we're good you know what's gonna happen what's patrick's up? gonna watch and he's gonna oh, be shit. like thank god congratulations edwin samuel's breaking out of his shell no he's gonna say edwin samuel is having a mental breakdown <laughs> out of his mind and he's going to use that echo thing. And you know he's it? out of his mind. Bro. <laughs> Bro. You, you ever watch that movie Blast from the Past? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's he's Edward. locked in a cellar for fucking... <laughs> He's going to come up to Grant. He's like, what the fuck? That's what happened, bro. You were hidden in the comedy scene. Then you finally came oh, out. Guy's and you're like, holy shit. Like, this is, it's all bad over it's here. Terrible. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, my lucky stars. An open micer. Say what? Dog. Oh man, that's great, bro. Oh, Jesus. So, Christ. in conclusion. Oh, in conclusion. Oh, thank God. All right. The end is near. We figured out what our game plan is and how we're gonna do it. We, um, we <laughs> yeah, we did. We washed our hands of certain individuals who will remain nameless from this point on forward. And this is like a like a press conference, bro. This is wild. And we established that we're not gonna strictly be bullying comedians we're here to help comedians but mm -hmm. in the process of that if it's garbage we're still got to point out that it's garbage for the record there was no bullying done because we did hear some stuff like that it started out as giving somebody a chance and then it turned into just what it turned into and yeah. i mean we have to make jokes along the way at people's expense that's, it does beautiful. suck but i mean like there's no hate like we still love the dude yeah. We want him to succeed, even though yeah. some people want him to quit. Like, two out of us want him to succeed. You know? And, like, get better. And well, then, like, one day, comedy. like, next year, it would be nice if he can host that show again. Yeah, like, it's just, try. it's not a permanent breakup. Right. Because it that's might a, be. It might not be. I don't know. That's the thing about comedy, man. That, like, they said there's no age to this. You know what I'm saying? So you could just take your time and work on your craft. Because, like, in a year know? from now, if he submits again, the interns are going to have to watch it. Yeah. Because he's not. Right, right. Because like, he's not going to be fucking. Commenting yeah, everything with this. back, so he's like we have this. all this shit. We don't even know if he'll apply. Yeah, he's gonna get so lost in the comments. There's gonna be times that else. we might have to get filler in guests because he may not even yeah, be here. Because he's not, he, he's not gonna watch shit. He's no, just a he, talent, bro. No, exactly. He's Golden gonna, ticket. He's gonna be like a Comic Con. Golden fucking ticket. Willie Wonka right here, bro. He's gonna be doing his own meet and greets and shit. Yeah, you know, he's gonna have like people shake his hand for him because he won't even want to move his right? arm. And he's like, uh, no. yeah, like fucking keep it's it like, up, guys. Mm. Don't touch keep me. picking on me, man. <laughs> you know? Take the photo and keep going. Yeah, come yeah, just come on. Keep I got, I got, I got hey, thousands hey. of people that want to take a picture yeah. of me. Well, I got I got reply to these comics because I got another video that hit a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hold on. I'm just fucking making millions over here. Yeah. What's up? Cash now. Are you guys selling $70 tickets? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, certain people buy them. <laughs> That's good, man. So, um... Thanks for tuning in to the yeah. ESJ podcast. Um, check us out, like, subscribe. We have a, a, a surprise guest coming in yeah. next week. It's exciting. This isn't going to be the usual one. This isn't going to be a, a breakdown of anybody's set. This is just going to be a regular, a guess. whatever goes, interview. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. Yeah. Um, and it's somebody that you guys know out there in the comedy scene. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool, man. Yeah. Uh, would you say that person is going viral? Um, I don't know. I'm, you're the only one out of us who's went viral. So, what's your opinion? Yeah, you don't you, like all viral people. Kind of like know each other. I mean, <laughs> we don't want a viral community. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an elite club. Yeah, it's like a support group because only you guys experience that. Yeah, exactly. so we don't want to give away who the special guest is because we like here at the ESJ podcast we like to leave some sort of mystery 
or confusion, whatever whatever the <laughs> situation is. So, um, want to give a hint or something? We'd or? like to we'd like to give you guys a hint on on who will be our next guest. All right, and um, we're just gonna leave this right here and um, see if you guys can uh, draw your own conclusions. Oh, you ripped off the tag off of that, man? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to get my two hours back. <laughs> so we'll see you next week. You got to say something because me just petting a foam cat is getting weird. That's wild, bro. How long was that? Oh, fuck. 47. Oh, my God. We can't keep nothing under 30. Because we get sidetracked, bro. Whose fault is that? You guys keep sidetracking. You're right. Yeah. We should take a long, hard look at ourselves. <laughs> it's good, though. It's probably yeah. all the coke that we do. <laughs> That's what got me. You it just coke. keeps on fucking going. You know, episodes just <laughs> go longer. Jeez. That shit threw you off, bro. That was like, oh, you went off, bro. That was awesome. <laughs>